New Telegram missions, a tough business. I've completed them all on a ruthless difficulty at least few times and now let me tell you about the differences between these missions and previous regular Telegram missions or other missions in Red Dead Online. And they are different. Actually to me it looks like this tough business is nothing more than a guide to a stealth system in Red Dead Online. It's like Rockstar decided to explain how stealth works to a new players. And not only new players, because let's be honest, most players don't use stealth in the game like at all. Anyway, let me explain. First of all, a few words about how to start these new missions. As always, check your mailbox, pick a telegram, this letter from Jay, open your bag, go to documents, telegrams and read it. That's it. Now you will see that you have three different missions available. One takes place in Saint Denis, second one in Coulter and the last one in Armadillo. Just like with regular telegram missions, there are different difficulty levels. Standard, hard and ruthless. But just just like previously, you cannot choose a difficulty level, you just need to complete a mission on standard, then on hard, and then you will be able to complete it on ruthless, but you cannot go back to standard. So Rockstar learned nothing here. On the other hand, this time there is way less difference between standard and ruthless mode, because even on standard you don't see enemies on minimap and you are forced to use free aim. I don't know, it's kind of weird, I even think that it's some sort of a bug. But in any way, payout is also higher on a ruthless difficulty. I'm talking only about dollars, not about gold. Amount of gold is the same, only amount of dollars. Plus enemies are tougher, they can take more shots and they hit harder and also you have less lives. Actually, zero lives on a ruthless. Payout structure is almost similar to regular telegram missions, with only one but extremely important change. You're getting more money and experience if you will complete mission in full stealth. So let's say you will just go and kill everyone. On a ruthless difficulty, you will earn $30.91 if you will complete a mission in 10 minutes. It's exactly the same number as regular telegram missions. For comparison, in infamous bounty missions you will earn $33.75 in this 10 minutes and in blood money missions you will earn $28.12. Just need to mention that gold payout structure is the same for all these activities. You're gonna earn 8 gold nuggets in 3 minutes, 16 gold nuggets in 6 minutes, 24 gold nuggets in 9 minutes, 32 gold nuggets in 12 minutes and so on. Anyway, if you will complete these tough business missions in stealth, you will earn 20% more dollars and experience points. So payout will be $37.10 in 10 minutes. So actually if done in stealth, these new missions pay you more than in famous bounty missions. And I remind you that you need to own prestigious bounty hunter role to even start those missions. And way more than regular telegram missions, blood money missions and way way more than stranger missions. And you might say that it doesn't matter, it's like few bucks, who cares, but it might make a difference for new players and yes, that's an activity for a new players. And by the way, unlike most of the regular telegram missions, this one can be actually completed by a new player easily because they all can be done in stealth. Now let's talk more specifically about each of these missions. There will be some tips on how to complete them and also my overall opinion. Obviously there will be huge spoilers, so just warning you. First mission is called Good and Dead. You need to go to Saint Denis, find a target and there are some specific information about how you can find him. The target has eye patch and wears stripped attire, a top hat and spurs. Anyway, just go to the yellow area on the map and look for the dude. Sometimes he walks alone on the market and takes money from locals. Sometimes he walks around with three bodyguards or with three women who he probably met in the bar. Anyway, don't get too close to him, just follow him and wait for the moment. If he will spot you or you will start a fight with even random NPCs or you will kill him on public or it will take for you more than 8 minutes to get him, you will fail the stealth. But don't worry, this mission is not really challenging, there will be a moment in which you will be able to take him down without any witnesses. For example, you can kill him while he will visit fans close to market. Or for example, when this woman will get bored of him and leave him. Anyway, just crouch to him from behind, kill him with a knife, loot him and that's it. It's probably the easiest mission, the only challenging thing is sometimes to find him. But I still enjoyed it, it's like a fun small adventure, plus sometimes 
times while looking for this NPC, you will see other NPCs interacting with each other. It's small situations that you might miss usually, but it's exactly something that makes this world to feel so alive. Anyway, in my opinion, with this mission, Rockstar is trying to introduce this mechanic of chasing, following someone without being spotted in Red Dead Online to the players, and maybe to additionally test this mechanic, because who knows, maybe they are planning to use it someday in the future. If there will be heist someday, I clearly see how they gonna use this mechanic for preparation missions, but maybe it's just a too optimistic way of thinking. So now let's move to the second mission, it's called Cold Day in Hell, you need to go to Colter and steal plans for robbery from the local gang. This mission is extremely stylish in my opinion, I completed it in stealth just to test it, it's pretty easy, I even probably killed few extra guards that I shouldn't have killed. You can kill them all with a bow with no problem, just make sure that they are not close to each other. You can even use the bow to kill the sleeping dude, actually when I was trying to kill him with a knife I kinda failed. And yeah, there are three different locations in which this list can spawn, but they all are pretty easy. Anyway, this mission is also not that hard, especially if you're gonna pick stealth option, but I mean, it's so cool to have a gunfight in a colter when there is a snowy weather, when the snow is falling. I really hope that someday we will receive a snowy call to arms map. Maybe in colter, who knows, it will be cool. Anyway, in my opinion, this mission, called Day in Hell, introduces players to mechanics of killing gods, stealthy and also, you know, how to deal with these patrols. I wish it also forced players to hide bodies, because now it's unnecessary. Anyway, the last mission is called Frontier your justice, you need to go to Armadillo and destroy three different wagons. By the way, unlike with previous two missions, at any point game doesn't tell you that you failed stealth and therefore will receive a smaller payout. There are also three hostages, at least I found three hostages, and initially I thought that if I'm gonna rescue all the hostages it will increase the payout, but no. Even when I kept all three hostages alive, payout was exactly the same, it was regular payout. When we rescue each hostage we receive an item, note, list or end envelope, and I thought maybe we will be able to sell this note and list later after the mission, but no. And also I don't know how to use these items, I haven't found them in my bag. Call me stupid, but I just haven't found them anywhere and I don't know how to use them. And by the way, description from the newswire says that freeing the gang's hostages from their captors will reveal various ways you can further disrupt the gang's activities and raise general chaos, but... I don't know. Anyway, I just rescued hostages, destroyed the wagons, and by the way, the last wagon should have arrived to Armadillo, but it refused to do it and just stayed. Please let me know in the comments if you know what am I missing and how it can be completed in stealth, I will pin this comment. Anyway, after destroying all these free wagons, you need just to ride away, for a pretty long distance actually. First time when I was completing this mission, I even thought that it's broken and stopped to check the up, but it turned out that I almost left the area. Anyway, in my opinion, this new mission, this tough business is, is a nice small addition. It's a piece of content, yes, it's a content, it's not a new hat. I don't see too much of a replayability here, to be honest, but just like with regular telegram. Just like with regular telegram missions, I don't see too much of a replayability here, to be honest, but it's fun to complete at least once, plus it makes a step in the right direction, because this extra payout for completing missions in stealth is something that I wanted to see in Red Dead Online, because in my opinion, game is a shoot force you to do missions in stealth or reward you somehow with extra payouts. And yes, this mission still have a lot of problems, but overall I think it's a small but step in the right direction. Let me know your opinion in the comments, whether you enjoyed these missions and whether you even played some. And as always, I hope you enjoyed this video, thank you for watching, like, subscribe, до свидания.